Good morning, YouTube. Today, I'm going to talk about my 2020 Polaris Ranger and some of the things I frankly regret about buying. And so I will go a complete walk through. This is not a professional review. This is just an owner's review of just like some of the actual practical stuff that you'll probably face. So uh, my number one complaint is these doors. So these doors cost 2,500 bucks. Um, they're really cool because they're clear at the bottom. So it's kind of fun. You, you, it's surprising how much more view you get from it. And this thing's obviously soaking wet, dirty here. We just got this thing back up from the back from the mountains. Um, the problem with these doors are, are a few, but the biggest problem is this. You'll see right here, this is when window has busted out entirely. This is after not very long. And the reason is this door just flies open uh, when I'm at speed. Um, you know, I'll be going, you know, 35 and all of a sudden it just flies open and they're suicide doors, they open backward. Um, so they're catching the air and flying open and I do everything. I'll come up to this and check it, make sure it's solid. And then I get up to speed and flies open and eventually it just broke that window. So that is definitely a regret. I'm taking that in. Hopefully they'll cover that under warranty. I certainly hope so. Um, other than that, the other problem we have with the door is just you're only able to open it a couple inches here. And so you just don't get that much airflow inside. Now I did the heater and um, so it has all the vents and stuff here. Um, and it, it's not AC, it shows cold here. It's not AC, um, but it's at least blowing air. So you have all these vents here and the side and it's enough, it's okay. Uh, I mean, you wouldn't mind a little bit more air, but it's fine. You're not baking in there even in the summer, it's okay. Uh, but I think if I were to go back, I would have got the North Star style doors that you can actually roll down to get, you know, max um, AC. Now you can, you know, remove these panes, but you know, just something that you can do quick and customize as you go. So number one regret is that. Now the next regret is just fully my mistake. That's this. I've owned a lot of side-by-sides over the years. Um, and that is one nasty cracked windshield. And I was just trailering it. Um, and when I got it in there, it, I didn't have it locked down real good. I thought I did, but I just missed a strap and it rolled into uh, the cabinet. So that was a $750 mistake, but also I want to talk about the windshield anyway. So this windshield uh, is uh, wiper ready, which I had a windshield on my last side by side, but it wasn't wiper ready. And that was just a mistake. Um, if you're going to have a windshield, you want a wiper. So this tips out and this is an expensive windshield. You can save like 400 bucks by getting one that doesn't tip out. Um, and so I thought this would be really nice, but I quickly realized just how impractical this really is. I mean, there's no way you could have that at speed. I mean, with the air going, it would just rip the windshield off. And so really all you're getting is the ability to go from here and just out a little bit into that. You get this tiny little space here. Realistically, you're getting just about no air through there and you're paying way more. And so now that I've got to replace this due to my own problem, um, I, I mean, I'm definitely just going with the fixed windshield. This tip out was not worth it, but the windshield wiper in my opinion is. Now here's another problem with the Ranger. It's just not very well designed. So the roof comes down quite a bit in the back uh, just to give you extra waterproofing. But now when you sit here and you look at the rear view mirror, I'll kind of tip it to where it would be, uh, you really can't see much. Even a rider that's, you know, 30 yards behind you, if you're at, you know, average height, you're not going to be able to see. I'm always trying to bend down to be able to see what's back there. Um, and so it's just not very practical. And then you say, okay, well, I'll just get side windows. Well, not so much, not so fast because that would be your view at the side window. Can't really, or the side mirror. Can't really see anything there either. Um, and so ah, it's just not a very well thought out design here uh, to be able to see. Now, I also ordered, sorry, it's gonna be a little loud here. This backup camera, 
which uh, I, I was really excited about. I thought it would be really cool. I also paid for the ride command. We'll talk about that in a minute. The ride command, in my mind, is 100% worth it. I love the ride command. They did a great job with it. So I'll go to front and rear cameras. If I just go in reverse, it's usually pretty quick. I mean, that quality is terrible. That's terrible quality. Um, it's like, it's just black and white. See, see right here, they put this text up here, be attentive to your surroundings, huge and bold. And it's like, I'm trying to be attentive, get the text off so I can actually see what's behind me. And you see, I can barely see, you know, barely a foot further than my shadow. Um, I mean, let's let's go and you'll see how far we're actually seeing here. That's it. I'm seeing like three feet back there plus one. Like this is already in the text, and I'm right here behind the side by side. So it's it's just really poorly designed um, the placement of the camera to be able to actually use it. Uh, I'm pretty disappointed in that. It's just not very well thought out. The front one is actually much, much more usable. Um, it's, it's decent. The quality is low. I mean, you think for the price you're paying for those Polaris cameras, they could probably give us some uh, much higher quality image. Uh, so I was disappointed in with that. Um, but um, yeah, well, that is, it, it, there, there's none. I was gonna I was gonna make an excuse for it. There's no excuse. I mean, that there, we should be able to see further back than that. Next thing, and every review you'll ever watch of the Polaris uh, Ranger is the uh, seats. Uh, the, you'll hear complaints on it. I mean, look, it's it's basically basically flat backed, right? And uh, when you sit up here, it just like pushes you forward. Um, there's no headrest to speak of. I mean, it's just a rubber chunk there. Um, and it's just very uncomfortable in a, in a machine of this price point, give us a seat. I mean, come on, give us a seat, right? Um, it's, uh, yeah, it just feels like you have to hunch like this. Um, just that back pushes you up. There's no lumbar support whatsoever. It's very uncomfortable. Just a little thing, but it's like it's 2020. And so I kind of feel like some things it's like, yeah, it's 2020. We should be there, right? Um, I mean, it's still got these old style yellow um, headlights. You know, I turn on this accessory one and it's white, of course, LED. But it's got old school headlights. Um, it's 2020. Come on, we can get there. This is not going to substantially increase the price of the machine to do. Um, so that would be another thing that I would like to see from the machine. So those are the negatives, the things that I do regret, uh, but there are a lot of positives and I'm just grateful that I could get the machine at all. I think it's great. Um, so let's talk about the positives. Let's go to the ride command. It's cooler than I thought it was. Um, I'm big into the tech and stuff. I, you know, I work full time on YouTube and so I, I love the tech scene. Um, so, oh, so great. So you have, you know, all your gauges and stuff. The screen is responsive. I mean, it's just like on your phone. It's, it seems to be a nice quality screen. You can go to your music and stuff. The GPS though is so good. It's so good. So it's rem remembering my rides around the house here. And it's good, like all you do is you get in and you just start driving and it remembers where you started. It will keep track of how long it is, temperature, time, all this stuff. Like it's really, really cool. Uh, I am very impressed with, uh, with the ride command. It's got your trails already in there. Like I, I didn't do anything. This is just out from the factory. It remembers where I've gone when I went on camping trips and stuff. Uh, you can see kind of where a few of my rides were here. Um, ride command, it's about $2,000, yikes. But honestly, I am glad I bought it. The other thing is I'm glad I got the windshield wiper. Again, I, I had that before, uh, or I didn't have that on my last side-by-side -side and I think it's worth it. 
um, as well as the heater and the fan at least. Uh, I am very glad that I uh, got that. So this video, this channel is mostly about guns. It's backfire, it's outdoors and all that kind of stuff. Uh, so give us a subscribe if you're into that. Check out some of our other videos and hopefully you don't make some, some of the same mistakes that I did. But I'm glad to have it and I do think it's a great machine. I just wish some of the accessories they would have put more thought into.